Hi everyone, today we're going to start a new series on my channel and says how to make an Elsa cake. We're going to use the same tutorial like I made my Mickey, Mickey and mini cake. I'm going to have the tutorial I will send for free for you guys, just let me know if you need it. I already covered my cake because this video is gigantic already and everybody can find a covering cake video. If you can't find one then you like, just let me know I can make the next one. So we're gonna cut the template. The first template is the outline. Everything is gonna come together and we're gonna make that face for our cake. So we have the cake, we use the outline one and we cover the cake. And now we're gonna use the neck. Everything is gonna be written on the template. So you're just gonna cut it out, uh, the, your piece, and you're gonna open a little skin collar. Um, fondant and we're gonna place right there and we're gonna use the exacto knife. The only parts of this video that I'm spitting out is when I'm cutting. Norm I'm not getting any step or anything out, it's just because the video is really long and I didn't want you guys to be sitting here for like an hour. So um, I'm just sometimes spitting out if um, I'm just using the exacto knife to cut the fondant. I'm using fondant because this, that's a cake but you can use cold porcelain to make those decoration cakes and everybody's calling them the fake cake. I have them to sell if you guys need one, as when you're having a party in a, re a very warm place or you don't have a place then say for your cake, just be sitting on a table because it's very cute. Um, you just go there and you use the decoration one. So I'm just gonna cut it out, cutting everything around. It's like puzzle, putting a puzzle together. You guys are gonna see how easy it is. So I cut it, the part with my template, I'm just being sure that the outsides are smooth and I don't have any edge and everything is in the shape I want. I just have a little piece extra there so I'm just cutting the excess off right there and we're gonna place in our cake. So be gentle to move your cake and now you always have the picture close to you. I don't have the picture in the frame of the camera, but I have the picture right there. So I know exactly where to place your pieces. You can put a little water if your cake, because uh, my cake is a little, uh, the fondant and the top is a little dry because I covered this cake um, in the morning and I'm finishing this video at night. So the cake is a little settled, but if it's too, um, if it's not gluing everything together, just place a little bit of water. As, as you see there, I cut a little part that wasn't covered the whole bottom of the cake in case you want to make her dress. And this one, you can just cut a little bit bigger. You're going to have the two pieces of the template. And now you see then I covered the whole bottom of the cake. If you don't want to make the dress too, you know, if you don't want to make blue, if you don't want to make the dress, you can just use the second template then, then it's going to be um, all together then is to cover everything. If you are gonna make the detail of the dress on the bottle you don't need to cover and use the fondant there too because first you don't wanna just waste your fondant and second because the, the cake's gonna start being really thick if you keep putting layers and layers and layers of fondant. So I'm just gonna cut the excess. I'm showing you guys with no dress on the bottle. Um, I'm going to put just a little detail because I thought that it would be cute, but if you don't want it, you can use the first template and just make the whole dress or the glitter and add some details on the bottom like you see in the picture. I'm being sure that everything everything is smooth, all my corners and everything. Be careful with the cake, then I almost broke my cake when I did that. So now we're going to open a little, um, almost like white, yellowish. Her hair is... Um, yellow is blonde but it's kind of almost white so be careful when you're mixing um, that's the thickness be careful when you're mixing your fondant because you don't want to be really yellow yellow so now with the piece of the template and it's her braid we're gonna just cut it that piece to place in our cake so it's like easy, it's really easy it's like making a puzzle you can do it you know um, and the templates free if you don't, if it's not on my website, www.cuppingcakesgrimier.com, up there you can see, you can click here um, and send me an email and I will send back to you if it's not already there. But if you're in a rush and it's not in the uh, website, you just send me an email, I will send it, it's free and it's, it's just to help you guys out. And you can make as big as you want. You just can, I printed the template as big as my printer at home could do it. 
but you guys can go to any office store and print it bigger if you need to feed more people. So I'm just cutting that shape from our template, that's the braid part, and now we're gonna take our time to see exactly what the, blade, the braid is. See, I, I said I have my picture right there, you can see a little piece. So now we're gonna place white, what the template is saying to be. If you, you're not sure, just get the whole template and put it on the top and then you mark a little gentle on your cake so you're gonna see. I'm just pushing the, uh, the bottom down. Don't worry about it if you cut a little short like it did because you're gonna cover all that with the braid itself. This is just the bottom so if the braid opens up to give a little tricky detail you can see the same color on the bottom. Now we're making three holes of the same color of the mixed uh, fondant and now we're just gonna you know smoosh it out a little piece on the end. Um, you can definitely braid a braid like you know get those three pieces and braid a, and make a braid and just place there but I'm gonna I want to do exactly like the picture so I'm just making it flat one side and I'm gonna follow the picture so where the hair is going to one side I'm gonna put that side and then when it goes to that I'm gonna make the braid but not making the whole braid it's like I'm making just the top of the braid if that makes sense I hope you guys are watching so it's easier thank God the video is not just a paper <laughs> so I'm just placing in there and cutting and I'm using a, um, a ruler just to make the marks for the hair, for each hair, but you can use anything straight, you know, anything that you have there. Uh, I have a tool for that, but I wanted to show them you don't need to buy a tool. You can use anything home, like a knife or, you know, an end or the spoon, anything then. It's just to make those a little um, marks. And now we're gonna cut where you keep looking in the picture so you see where your braid needs to be. And now we're gonna finish there to don't have any marks. Um, I'm getting another piece because right there has another piece that comes on the top and I'm cutting the excess because I don't want to go over where the template is. So there's her face. We don't want to go over that part. We just want to stay on that piece then we cut it for the braid. So that's why it's good to put that first piece then we put it on the cake so you know where you need to be. And I'm cutting the excess because we don't have the yellow there so we know then we are not supposed to have hair over that part. Just be gentle to don't cut, you know, your fondant or make any mark on the fondant. And now I'm using the two just to make the same thing that I made with the ruler, just to mark all the pieces of hair. You don't need to do that if you don't want. If you want a more smooth finish, you can do that too. But I think um, since the picture had the little, you know, marks, I wanted to do it. And now I'm just curving right there because that part of the braid goes under and inside. So that's what we're doing. We're following the picture and um, making the braid. So I cut it just to be straight. And now I'm going to place as I'm looking in the picture. So one go to the right and one go to the left like we are braiding a hair. Here we go. I'm going to make a lot of this video, so please let me know. Uh, leave your comment below. Like this video to let me know if you guys like it. I have also a mini mouse cake um, like this. Then it's super easy if you need to make it with a template. Uh, it's basic. You can do super fast. So I'm going to leave down on the comment bar the link if you guys need it for the mini. And I'm thinking about make Anna uh, next and make maybe make like a frozen fever and maybe Sophia, Tinkerbell. So if you guys want to help me out and try to help me to know which one make, cause I really wanna make those cake series videos, just let me know because you don't need to spend that much money to make your cake, to have somebody to make your cake for somebody that you love for your kids. You can make it fall in this. You just need the material and love and time and dedication and you can make it. And I'm keep doing the same row that we have it before. I'm just twisting and curving around to follow the braid. You look at the picture so you know exactly because we have, we have that base color right there. So you just keep braiding to the one side, to the other side, one side, to the other side. I'm always flat a little bit the edges of that piece because I need to put on the top of each other so I don't want to be that huge. So see, we just keep crossing and make our braid. Our braid. <laughs> it definitely can break them together and just place it there if you think it's simple. I just didn't want to have a huge 
like braid and look like it wasn't part of the cake I wanted just to have like half this braid like it was part of her you know so I'm just marking out the hair this is no mystery just follow this the the direction then then your braids going and just mark it there's no you know any um rule for that and cut excess because you need to do the next part of your your braid and always you smooth it out everything if you have excess don't worry about marks or anything because you're gonna mark them anyway so now I just curve a little bit and we have um, we're almost down to the end of the first template and we put it there the foot's cut off and now I'm marking it again you can stop the the braid right there if you want to or you can go down to the bottom of the cake or you can just leave there and put the name um, around for some snowflakes write happy birthday you know since you cannot write anything really on the cake you can write her name there or happy birthday or something happy first birthday or probably not first because it's frozen but you know you can just stop your cake there and put some a border of blue just to pretend then is the her dress so you don't need to go down but I'm gonna show you how to do it if you want to do it because if you don't want it you just stop here if you want to do it just let them show you how just to end the, the braid like that you keep braiding look at the picture you're gonna see there so it's not it's not that you guys are not gonna oh my god now I don't have the piece there but you just keep following the braid and click a like if you are liking this video or thinking the cake is good just for me to know then if you guys want to still watch um, another um, cakes with this idea tutorial you know to help you guys um, so I, I actually gave this template to my friend to do it she never made a cake before she had a little trouble to cover it the first time because fondant to cover a cake is kind of sometimes hard it's like opening bread but after she really do with the covering of the cake uh, she said and was like putting a puzzle together and she was really happy then she made that for her daughter so now we're gonna make the face we have the template for the face and we have the holes for the eyes you can definitely don't need to make the hole for the eyes if you don't want to because you can just you know put the white on the top but I think it looks better if you make the hole and you cover the white so it's not you know popping out of her face I'm just cutting with the Zecto knife be careful to don't um, lose any shape just go and make another piece for your puzzle and now I'm making the marks for her eyes I'm making Anna next and it's almost ready and I'm gonna make some princess cupcakes tutorials too so I'm in the princess mood <laughs> but um, I promised my son to make it ninja turtle cake too so you guys gonna see some boy stuff too but let me know if you guys want something or if you're watching you know sometimes I keep talking here <laughs> I like to hear you guys talking back to me or writing a comment or something so now I'm just looking at the template and in placing my piece right there just be careful the ear need to be you have the round right there when you're placing the hair you have the play the perfect face to put it on and the neck and everything it, it gets all together pretty cool so um, we are just gonna smooth and that part and the neck you just flat it a little bit you don't want just to be like straight down you want to go smoothly down so you just use your finger and go down a little bit now we're gonna make her ear you just gonna roll something if you don't have this ball tool um, let me know I can leave the link where you can find it I'm just gonna roll down to make that little round on the ear look at the picture you're gonna see um, where you need to you know fold or ask somebody to show a ear and look where you need to make the marks so I'm just making a C on the top let me see if I can show better this way and see and look right there and then make the hole right there I put the picture little picture to see if you guys can see and now I'm just marking her eyelids because we're gonna um, she has all pink and purple eyeshadows so we're gonna need to put fondant on and I don't want to be really like up her eyes I want to be like it was a makeup so I'm just gently making an indentation right there be careful to don't lose them the shape of the eyes be sure then you didn't lose the shape put it back together and you just mark 
if the eyes are in the shape that it's supposed to be. And now gentle, you're gonna mark where the um, nose and the eyebrows need to be. You just go over gentle um, so you know exactly what they need to be when you need to put those pieces together. If you don't, if you think you can do it without the marks, it, it's totally okay. I just want to show the basics so everybody can do it. And you just mark everything right there. So now you have all the places. See, you can see that little picture. You can see that I have all the indentations. I'm showing you guys now to how to cut the, the white part of her eyes. But I have a, um, a tip here. If you don't want to do this, you can just make a ball and squish down there. Because actually it's easier and sometimes make um, this, the, the, where the two colors get together better. Because you're just putting down not a piece. But as I'm making a template for everybody that don't know how to do it, you have the template for the eyes. You're just going to cut it smooth around like I'm going to do it now and just going to place there. Just be, be sure that you're not leaving any space. Be careful and see when you're putting it down because you don't want space around her eyes to look weird. And don't, you don't want that white to be really high. You want to be flat on her face. So just be sure that you're not losing the shape and you're playing on the right side. <laughs> Here we go. See, because I was at all wrong side. And just just keep turning around like a puzzle piece. Then you're going to find the right side. Right here. And we place right there. Be careful to don't have any edges or the white to come on the top of her skin. Because you don't want that. Here we go. And now we're going to um, start making the top part of her hair. I'm gonna, just going to cut the basic template for the part the top part of her head I'm just speeding up a little bit because I'm just cutting because it's already like more than 30 minutes and I don't want to keep you guys watching <laughs> get a snack because we still have more than half a video <laughs> but it's a really long cake but you will pay easily this cake 250 30 hundred dollars um, because it's a very detailed cake so you don't need to you know you can you can make it um, just use the template you can make it just take your time and place that basic template on the top of her head if you guys um, have anybody any friend or anybody that have a little girl just share this video you know say you know what you can make it um, get the template and you can make it um, and that really helps me too so let's open the same thing that we did it there but I, she has a little let us trim my hair on the top of her ear and that's what we're gonna do I'm just gonna place right there I'm just measuring because I don't want too much of the excess and I'm cutting in a little on the bottom just to give a little 3d effect effect but you don't need to I just wanted to have that cut it in the end but you can just mark like we did the other ones if you don't want to cut um, and now I'm just marking all over again and we're gonna do then our whole head marking and putting all that beautiful you no know, top head and heads she has now we're gonna use a little bit more flat pieces because it's not a kind of braid it's like her hair is flowing backwards so we're gonna place there and you can see in the picture as well I don't have the picture in the frame because I wanted to show as much detail as I could but you look at the picture that first picture that I show on the uh, in the beginning of the video and we're gonna see see I'm opening a piece a little bit larger and that's no rule for the hair you know you just need to put all the strings going backwards on her face I'm just showing everything I made um, one piece and let it dry a little because I wanted to put a little shape so you see right there on the top of my table a little piece that I, I made to let it dry and if you're having difficulties to mark like I'm doing that once we put it in a, uh, on the cake because you don't want it to flat down, you can mark that before you place on the cake too. Uh, it's better to do that when you have in your cake because you know exactly where you, you want the hair to pretend to be going. But you also can do it before, you know, just, just plan. And I'm just going to do that to the whole head. And you're gonna do it too. It's not hard. Just look at the picture, and it's just the hair. The hair is is gonna look cool anyway. So that piece then you dry a little. It's not dry a little. I didn't leave there drying for ten minutes. It was exactly the time you guys are seeing. It's just cute because I wanted to stand 
a little on the top right because she has that little um you know part of the top of her head and it's a little higher and i wanted to give a little 3g effect to this 2g cake if that makes sense <laughs> so now we're gonna make all the marks again here we go i changed the view of the camera a little guys because i wanted you to see the whole cake all the time um so I hope you like it. And I'm gonna just keep it going, rolling, making a snake, and make a detail. This one, I'm just gonna make that little straight ahead, and she, like it's a little, little piece of her bang, then she has right in the middle of the face. I'm marking right there because it's actually not gonna touch too much of the cake because it's like it's flowing, you know, in front of her face. So we're gonna place right there. You don't need to place now because we're gonna make it the other part of the hair, but I wanted you guys to know exactly where it's being placed. And now we're gonna keep making pieces and keep it, you know, making her hair look fully and pretty and princesses, you know, they have beautiful hair no matter what. No matter if it's swimming, like Ariel, no matter, and no matter what, they have beautiful hair. So that's what we're gonna give her. So we're making a fat please right there and that's easy because it's the size of your cake you can measure if you have a little um, extra you just roll down at the edge of the cake and you keep going so now that piece goes to the other side of the head you can look in the picture you're gonna see it and we keep doing it I'm putting a little piece on the bottom there because I don't want that to go down I want to be up and I don't want the fondant to settle and so I'm going to be very gentle now to make the marks because I want that hair to be up there if you guys are having trouble to find the tools um let me know um i can leave the link below where you can find the tools and now um we gonna place another large um piece leaving a little hole see you can see my finger right there a little hole because i want to look like as you know it's, it has more hair underneath and but we, I, we don't want to put a bunch of fondant so now i took a little off that bang then i place it because um i wanted to guys show to show you guys where i was to be and now i'm gonna make a, a kind of large and wide piece because i'm gonna put it right there in the middle so it's kind of like a tear doesn't matter the shape you just need to cover every single piece of her head i'm trying to follow the picture as much as I can so you guys gonna see it and placing them as the picture is showing you know a little bit on the top a little bit on the bottom just to cover everything and now the bang is back right there where the edges get together so you kind of put it there and you hide everything and now I'm making it again just one little snake just to put a little detail because it's gonna look that's just a little piece of hair that's flying to the other side just to give a little detail right there so now we have all the hair done we are gonna start making her um, eyeshadows she has purple and she has pink the purple one is the base and the pink is just a little piece so we're gonna open the purple and we're gonna use the template my template is not cut it all in pieces because I didn't want to lose them but when you make it you can cut I'm just marking on the top a little strong so I know where to cut but if you think it's easier like I was cutting her eyes you just cut the template and then you place and then use the exacto knife and you cut and you make your shape I'm just marking I see you can see the indentation right there and I'm using the scissor um, and cutting the eye the purple part here we go be careful to don't lose the shape because it's like a puzzle and they get together so if you lose one shape the other one's not gonna connect that well and just being sure that's the way I want it and I'm placing right there next to the eyes always look at the picture so you know exactly what you put your piece and you know if it's looking good right there and we're gonna do exactly the same thing to the other side I just didn't show you guys the opening um, the, the fondant just because it's getting really long but I just mark on the top of the same and I cut it and I'm showing right now. I'm just being sure that the edges are not, um, when any pieces are excess, then it's flat and smooth because 
that detail is what make the cake pretty and we want everything to look perfect. Now I'm using this tool, I don't know what the name of this tool, for cake. <laughs> I'm just, instead of using my fingers, I'm using that to make the snake because make your snake to be a little bit um, more perfect because your fingers make marks and I want it to be looking like a really good line. So that's why we did right there. And I'm just putting the pink part around it. And at the, the out, outside of her eyes, I just squished down a little bit like it was a smoosh, you know, like makeup. And now we place into the other side as well. And just cut the excess and just push your finger down gently. You know, don't want to make a mark, but is that okay if you lose a little um, shape because it's like it's eyeshadows, you know, it doesn't really have a shape. It's like you have a, a smoky eye. Um, now I'm just measuring on my picture. You can use that template, but you can just make a little snake and measure in the picture when we're gonna make her um, eyebrows. I'm marking the same way we mark the hair. So this part I'm going mark up and then I'm gonna mark in going to the right. Like if you look into your, your eyebrows, you know that center part goes up and then goes to the side of your head and that's what you're gonna do look at the picture you're gonna see um, where the hairs are going and I'm measuring again because I want them to be the same size than the, plate, the template you you have that piece on the template as well you don't need to measure in the picture but I just thought that was easier and now we, I'm marking them again I'm gonna have a, a second video that's coming up and the end of the week probably Friday um, if you want to know how to paint the cake instead of putting the face pieces together if you know how to paint uh, or you have all the edible colors or if you're making uh, no edible cake and you want to paint instead of putting the pieces because you think it looks cooler you're gonna have the cake too so now I'm using the template I got a little bit of uh, skin color and I'm shaping her nose I just want the size and the shape and then when we place on the cake we're gonna finalize the details you just push there the two places for the holes where you see in the template and you see the picture she has a very you know cute nose and then we're gonna place right there where we have that mark and you place and now with a little bit of water and a little bit of time you want to try to get all the um the marks off you don't want to see you know any get together you don't think that the nose is on the top of her face you want to see them smooth and together so we're gonna make the shape we want and then we're gonna smooth it out everything I'm using a ball tool if you don't have this tool and you want to know where to get it leave it a comment down below and I can send you the link and I'm taking my time because I don't want any marks right there you can use your finger with a little bit of water if you're having a little trouble going moving around see you don't see the scene anymore that's what we want if we want to you know feel them the nose is part of her face no it's on the top of her face so take a little time doing that because you know it's right on the face in the middle of your cake and we want that to look cute so I spend a little time here probably like two three minutes and so you should do that too when she will very happy at the shape of the nose you look at the picture she's kind of looking on the side so the nose is not straight up so take you know take your time to get the shape right and the seams to disappear now we're gonna make her mouth her lips we use the template, I mark down and I cut it out because I thought on the face the mouth was easier like that and I'm using the Zecto knife to cut that piece. Um, so I was saying that we, I'm gonna have another video, the part two of this video and you can click down below after it's on so if you can find it easier. If you don't wanna make all those pieces for the eyebrows and the eyes and everything if you wanna paint, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that too. And it's pretty cool, looks looks cool like this one but looks different so I wanted to try both ways 
so you guys can tell me what you like. So I'm just making an facial there like her, it was her dimples and to give a little more dimension to her face. And the same way we did to the neck, I'm just pushing down a little at the edge because I don't want to give the impression that her lips is just, you know, popping up. I want to give the impression that she has a full lip. And now I'm marking very gentle like we marked the hair just to give a real... Um, because our lips are not like straight, they have those little lines. That's what I was doing. And now um, with the template again, I'm just cutting out to balls blue to start her eyes. And it's that part that you can see in the other video. If you don't want to make all those pieces, you can paint them. Um, that's um, what's going to be. And if you're using cold porcelain, you can, you know, use normal paint, acrylic paint. If you're using edible, you can use, I normally paint with the airbrush liquid color edible paints because I think they are easier. I don't need to mix. They are already mixed. And take care uh, when you place in the blue to place in the right place. Just look um, our new template and the picture. And probably because it's going to be easy to see because the shape is just going to be, you know, you have the right place to do it. And I'm doing the two snakes again. Um, try to make them as skinny as you can because we make her eyelashes we're gonna place why oh sorry it's not the eyelashes <laughs> we're gonna do the eyelashes the same but now we're gonna go around the eyes to give that little outline then they have around the blue of their eyes so that's why you want to be try to make as skinny as you can because you don't want a really big line there you just want a little detail and now we're gonna place on the bottom um, part of her eyelashes and to the other side as well we're gonna do the same thing go around the blue be sure that you're not leaving any edges or pieces flowing around and now we're gonna make the bottom eyelashes look at your picture because sometimes that um, the black doesn't go around but this time it can go up to the purple and that's where we're leaving let's see if it, this way is easier I'm just marking like we do to the um, hair but very gentle because I want to give the impression that it's not a line is eyelashes too so we're going to just push down a little bit gentle like that to give that little effect and we're going to do that to the other side So you can see the nose now close by you don't see the scenes that much that's why i want you guys to take your time and try to make that just appear and now i'm i'm just cutting the excess i'm sorry it's a little out of the camera i was trying to make very close for you guys so you could see the details but i'm just marking like into the other side and now we're gonna place the black part of her eyes i place one side and now we're placing the second one we cut it like we did to the blue and now we cut the same with the black of the template for her top eyelashes and I'm just cutting you don't need to but I think then looks cooler and we cutting with a very small scissor to make the eyelashes and I'm just juggling them around a little bit and measuring and placing right there on the top of that black line and we did it and we're gonna do the same thing to the other side you cut as much as you want just to give that effect and you're going to place to the other side. It's like you're putting a fake eyelashes if you do that <laughs> or playing around. Um, you're just going to place right there and cut the excess. If you think it's too much, you make that smaller. But I'm using exactly the size that it was on the picture right there. I hope you guys like it. We're going to have the part two that is all painted. I'm just using petal dust to make her text shine and put some snowflakes. Let me know if you guys like this video. Please click like and subscribe and share. And uh, don't forget that I'm just showing a little, guys, if you want to, you don't need to, to put a little piece of the, the dress. You can put it uh, all the way in the bottom or you can just put the detail right there because you don't have a hair. Um, if you don't want to buy that much gum paste, but since you have blue because you have her eyes blue, you can just do that detail. You just cover right there 
you're gonna have in a template as well just cut it the excess and just mark you can even put in edible glue if you're not using edible you just can put glitter um, you just gonna mark with anything anything at all it's just to make some texture on her dress and you can use the glitter just to shine because her dress is all shiny that's if you don't want to do that you don't need to if you want to learn how to paint her face you can do it too I'm just placing two little dots right there for the eyes because they look cooler when they have the light reflection right there and we're done I hope you guys like it let me know and watch the part two thank you so much bye guys